I don't see any trash here. Are you talking to me? Are you saying that I am trash? The audacity. Hi, I'm Ashley. I need a vacation. But it's not that simple anymore, is it? The rules around travel have changed. Perhaps forever. But change can spark new ideas. Right from the airport, the hotels, to the entertainment scene, cities are bringing new innovations to make sure that we can all travel safe, sound, and stress-free again. I'm here to try out some of these reimagined experiences to see what the future of travel really holds. Starting right here in Singapore. What kind of crazy innovations emerge when a city is so obsessed with cleanliness? Point yourself well in these unprecedented times. A traveller's first stop in Singapore and its newest crown jewel is Jewel at Changi Airport. Behind the well-trimmed bushes lies a mega mall and entertainment haven. But there's more! In this futuristic dome, robots are taking over. Well, the cleaning at least. We got Joy here. She's here to mingle around and scrub the floors clean and dry. The scrub bot. Scrubbing, disinfecting and polishing away. And we got Leopold. Sailing through the mall, door to door to collect all of our trash. Apart from being Instagrammable cuties, these bots keep Joel as safe, clean and germ-free as possible. I see Joy. It's that pink little bunny looking robot. Hello? Hello. My name is Joy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Ooh, so you're in the mood for some jokes? That's Why are frogs so happy? Why? They eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> yeah, sure. That was really fun with Joy, but her main purpose here at Changi Airport is to clean up all of the water droplets and all that schmuck all around this spot. After admiring the robot's robust work ethic, I can safely say that our higher expectations around hygiene have been met. And it's not just the airport operations that's going through a total facelift. It's happening at our hotels too. I'm about to check into your hotel where they've been embracing time-saving and contactless services like robot service and automated check-ins. So, my first impression of this place is that chic, compact, but I heard that there's two legends here at your hotel. I am ready for Yoshi and Yolanda. And I guess being pampered by robots makes sense as a viable alternative when our post-pandemic priorities have become so hygiene-centric. It's fun and it's contactless. Honestly, it's like being on a spaceship and it's fulfilling my sci-fi fantasies 100%. Okay, so airports, check. Hotels, check. But what about things that rely on personal taste? I'm talking about coffee, guys. And I really need some right now. So I'm out of the hotel and I'm ready to get my cup of coffee. Now, the thing about Singapore coffee culture is that it usually involves uncles and aunties, the masters at the kopi here. But if that's not your cup of coffee, Singapore's got you covered. I'm here to meet some new kopi masters. And guess what? They're not humans too. These robots have been programmed with traditional coffee recipes and they can deliver your caffeine hit in under one minute. No mistakes, no splashes, and no downtime. So the menu here comes in a very convenient style of a screen once again. And I'm gonna order a kopi or The really cool thing about this is that there is all this amount of ratios of what goes into your local cup of coffee and that's amazing. But at the end of the day, I'm ready for my kopi o, handcrafted by a robot. I got my other. Let's go and check it out now. So whether you're in the mood for local teas or something a little bit more frisky like a pandan whiskey latte, you probably find something that catches your eye. And if not, no problem. You can custom craft your order to the exact ratio to suit your very selective taste buds. This is really not bad. It's actually on par with like what they make in the kopitiams. I guess there's no future without traditions. We have to look back at all the OGs and thank them for laying down the foundations. Cheers to you, man. So I got caffeinated. I'm super pumped right now. And I got a mission. I need to channel this energy somewhere before I explode. Yeah! 
we're here at Clark Key, and if you know a thing or two about Singapore's nightlife, this is the place for your nightlife shenanigans. So I'm about to head into Zouk, and before in this pre-pandemic days, it was the mecca of nightlife. Since there is no parties here, it's a new era, and we say hello to a club that has reimagined as dance floors and offer a healthy alternative to drinking and partying. Spin cycle! The dance floor may have changed, but the energy is still fire. As a temporary shift during the pandemic, Zook has partnered out with Absolute Cycle, Asia's leading cycling studio. They are offering spin classes to those looking for a cheeky lunchtime workout with iconic Zook vibes. Oh, you guys! I can feel my legs, man. Okay. Yo, I'm here with an absolute babe. <laughs> Her name is Grace and she's one of the instructors here. Tell me, how did this happen? Our biggest studio has 60 bikes on a regular basis, but because of Circuit Breaker, we could only cut it down mm. to like 20 bikes. So what do we do with the excess bikes? We approached Zook and then mm -hmm. they were in the midst of doing their cinema that only runs in the evening. So yeah. that gives us the entire morning to afternoon to run classes for yeah. our extra bikes. I would think that our creativity allows us to think outside the box, which is how we managed to even think about this in the first place. Whether this reimagined club is a novelty or the new normal, it's as close to pre-COVID clubbing as I can get. But I'm not stopping here. I've hopped off the spin bike and I'm ready to try some live action entertainment popping up at, well, unexpected places. I'm here at Pasir Panjang Power Station and they're one of the first few places that open up their doors to the public for larger scale events. Can you please tell me the truth? Am I overdressed? It's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much, huh? But jokes aside, there's really no need for full protective gear. Hi guys, sorry. All we need is some good old crowd control and some social distancing. So the show's about to start and it's titled Running with Strippers. It's run by Cake Theatre and Uploading SG. I gotta wear my mask though, okay? And let's just try to have fun in this new era of live events, events, events. There's no question that hosting something this inclusive in times of social distancing comes with greater responsibilities. With this, organizers are moving cautiously towards a world where events can feel safe while still being absolute fun. And I want to find out what goes into making all of this possible. I'm here with Louis, also known as the artist in Trigun, And he's also in charge of uploading SG, one of the people behind this large-scale event. How has it been transitioning from what we know previously as like parties or live events to this concept now? The most difficult part of, a pro of an event now is actually not the production. The most tedious part now is the operations. What is the main vibe you're trying to retain? Especially with live music, I'm sure with everybody else. It's the human connection. There's a lot of compromise. So from the audience perspective, you can't stand up, you can't even shout. And from the musician standpoint, you've got to perform to a seated crowd with little reactions. And like both sides from today, you can see that they kind of understand yeah. the situation. Yeah. So I think that's the, the big thing for a live yeah. event now. From technology to the meaning of what the future of travel holds. Everyone's doing their part, whether it's the robots or the humans. This has clearly showed me that no matter what situations we're in, we're gonna adapt, we're gonna be clean, safe, sexy, and we still got so. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the dance floor, seated of course. Good night.